to how Stalin G here. Today I'm going to teach you how to put PlayStation 1 into your Android phone without using a computer. All right, so here we go. First thing that you need to do is take this here and put it into your Google search. When you get your results, choose the zippyshare.com website. The first thing you want to do though before you do any of this is go to your settings, make sure you go into your security and check install from unknown sources so you can install this stuff onto your phone. Every Android phone has it, at least from my knowledge. Put this in, go to that site, download it, okay? Then you're going to go into, you're going to take this, put this into your Google search, okay? And then when the websites come up, you're going to pick the toshare.com website, download it. Then we're going to go to our marketplace. Or you can actually do this first if you want, it doesn't matter. Go to your marketplace, download Astro if you don't already have it. Okay, that's a file manager. And then you're gonna go to the marketplace and you're gonna download Zarchiver. Okay, once you download those files, open them up, start them up, get past all the crap that you need to do to get it started. And then we are going to go into Astro. We're going to create a folder. We're going to call it PSX. Open that folder, and within that folder, you're going to create another folder and call it ROMs. Okay? Then you're going to move the PlayStation emulator that you downloaded from this one. And the BIOS file, that one and you're gonna move those to the folder that you've created, PSX. Not the ROMs folder, which is within the PSX, just the PSX, okay? After you move those, you'll probably already be in Astro, but whatever. Go into Astro and select the PSX file that you've downloaded, which you moved into that folder. Once you do that, it's gonna prompt you to install it. Like I said, make sure you have install from unknown sources on there, okay? Install it, it might tell you when you're downloading it, that it might harm your phone. It's not going to harm your phone unless you do something wrong because you're an idiot. After you install it, open it. Okay? After you open it, you're going to have an option. It's going to say run ROM or game, run BIOS, preferences, blah, blah, blah. Choose preferences. And at the very top, it's going to say BIOS. Click it or touch it. Open the BIOS. You're going to be in your folders. You're going to find the BIOS in the folders that you download it. Now obviously it's going to be in PSX because that's where you moved it. So you know where to look for it. Once you do it, select it. Okay? After you select it, back out and go back to the main screen of the PSX and you're going to click the Run BIOS. When you click the Run BIOS, it should come up like a PlayStation. That's how you know you're in business. Okay. Now here's where you get your ROMs. Now please, you're supposed to use your own ROMs or your own games, but here's an alternate way. Go to CoolRoms.com. After you go to CoolRoms.com, you're going to download whatever you want for PS1. After you download it, you're going to open up your, the app that you downloaded, Zarchiver, to unzip or extract the file. So, when you hit Zarchiver, it's going to give you all your folders. Go search for the ROM that you downloaded, which will be the name of the game. Chances are it's going to be in the folder, Downloads. Go into that folder, okay? You're going to unzip it or extract it. You're in Zarchiver, so when you touch it, it's going to give you the option to extract. But you want the option that says extract here. Okay? After you, after you extract it, you're going to get several files. The file that you want is the one that comes with .bin. If you can't see which is which, just hold down on it in Astro, because you're going to go into the app Astro. When you go into the folder downloads that you extract it, you're going to see several files, including the original zip. You can pretty much delete all of them, except the one that's dot .bin, because that's your game. So what you're going to do is you can hold down on it and hit Preferences. Usually the one that takes the longest to load is the dot .bin file. Once it comes up, it'll tell you blah, 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 dot .bin. That's how you know that's the one you want. Copy that, okay? When you copy it, move it. Astro lets you do all this. It's really easy. You're going to move it to the PSX folder, and when you open up the PSX folder, you have the ROMs folder that you created in there. Open that. 
drop it in there. This way you have a nice place for all your ROMs. This way when you go into the PSX game, you are all in one spot. And that's pretty much it. So basically, after you do all that, you just go into it, you hit run game, run ROM, whatever it says, choose your game, and you're in business. Go to your preferences, pick the type of on-screen, uh, what the fuck they call it, um, controller that you want, whatever, the layout, and you're good to go. So there you go. That's how you do it without using a computer. And uh, I'm going to try to look up some more stuff, let you guys know how to do it without using a computer. Got a couple more things I want to put up here that I found out. All right, so there you go. Oh, and by the way, if you screw anything up, I'm not responsible. But you shouldn't.